With our breaking political story this hour, Mbali Ntuli has resigned from the Democratic Alliance. In 2020, the KZN politician lost the DA leadership race to jo John Stienhazen, and since then the MPL has changed portfolio roles in the party. Well, previously Ntuli claimed there was a cult-like behavior in the DA, and now she's exiting for good. Govan Whittles is on that story. Govan. Good morning, Annika. Yeah, we understand from Mbali's resignation letter that her resignation from the Democratic Alliance really follows um, a lot of um, unhappiness with what she called the cult of personality, but also gossip um, within the party. Those are the main reasons she stated. Um, but we know that there has been a falling out, and um, her departure is just a continuation of the exodus of prominent black leaders from the Democratic Alliance. And she's hinted in the letter uh, what could be next for her. She does indicate she, she wants to take a break from politics, but says she needs to do community work and, and go down to the ground. There's also a, a few other elements in that letter that um, kind of gives us some insight into how she feels about the Democratic Alliance. She says she has a lot of compassion for those who remain within the DA, um, and then also says that she has to leave the DA in order to reach uh, specific communities which are currently out of her reach. Um, while she remains in the Democratic Alliance. And we know that after she contested uh, uh, John Stiernes uh, for that position of uh, leader of the Democratic Alliance, her focus has mo mainly been in rural KZN where the Democratic Alliance didn't have any presence. And she is someone in the DA who has been able to uh, record an improvement in support in the areas where she's been mobilizing, albeit just marginal uh, improvements in support. But it is clear that she does maintain a lot of support within the DA's constituencies uh, within KwaZulu Natal. And uh, she may not say where she's going, but she has indicated, just like Musi Maimane did, that she doesn't believe the political parties and South Africa's political system uh, is able to foster any sort of cooperation to get the country working uh, in the right direction. So that should be the clearest indication of what may come next. Although no other party or organization has announced as coming into their fold. For now, the focus is on her legacy in the Democratic Alliance, which does appear strong um, since she spent the time there since uh, 15 years ago, uh, launching that branch for the DA at Rhodes University and being instrumental in building the Democratic Alliance's youth structures. But there certainly are indications that we may not have seen the last of them by the two. Uh, Govan, yes, she contested the leadership race and I think got 20% of the vote. But uh, there was talk in January, and I say it was speculative, that she may join Action SA. Uh, has any more word happened there? I mean, Musi Maimani joined and then he broke away. There seemed to be a sort of clashing of heads in terms of leadership. Uh, anything more from Action SA? Action SA certainly has tried to lure the prominent leaders from the Democratic Alliance, and they've been quite successful at it. Uh, in Gauteng, they managed to lure Bongani Baloy, who's now within the fold, and in the Eastern Cape, Ethel Trollope, who worked very closely with Musa Maimani, is now leading Action SA uh, in the Eastern Cape. Maimani himself, not in Mashaba's fold, they seem to disagree um, on the issue of immigration and how Action SA uh, is tackling that issue. Mbali and Tuli certainly um, hasn't been announced by Action SA, and there are no indications that she, she will join them just yet. As far as we know, there still are attempts. But today, Action SA is actually announcing a ward councillor uh, in the city of Tuane from another political party where uh, they seem to be focusing a lot of their energy. So she might just join them if Herman Mashaba is able to convince her. But at this point, it does look like she wants to step away from traditional politics and political parties uh, to focus on a different kind of community outreach and building communities. Yeah, Pomzila van Damme also taking a break there. You know, when black women do leave the DA, I I'm sort of reluctant to ask them the black woman question, which is, you know, is it difficult being a black woman in the DA? Because, you know, perhaps there are other reasons. But she talks to you, uh, she talks in the letter of resignation about gossip. Do you think this could be related to her being black and female in the party? Well, she had first, uh, previously uh, issued uh, an opinion piece uh, speaking about the culture of victimization and personality cults within the Democratic Alliance. 
and how that impacts on the party's functioning. She was known to be one of the more outspoken leaders of the DA, uh, who wouldn't hesitate commenting on controversial issues, even when there appeared to be uh, attempts to silence the black leaders about what was happening uh, within the party. Uh, she is known as, as one of the leaders within the DA, now former leaders, who didn't hesitate to challenge the most senior leadership on issues she felt very strongly about, particularly when there was an outcry uh, from South Africans regarding the way that the Democratic Alliance um, had responded to certain issues. But in her letter, she hasn't mentioned um, her being victimized as a result of being a black woman within the Democratic Alliance. She stopped it short of saying that there were issues with gossip. And she had previously spoken about um, some of those issues, which were about personality cults and victimizing people. Uh, so that's as far as she's willing to go. The rest is, is speculation at this point, and I'm sure she'll be able to elaborate uh, once we do speak to her a little bit later. All right, Govan Whittles there. Thank you so much for bringing us that breaking political story, and hopefully we'll be hearing more from Mbali and Tuli and expand upon her resignation letter from the DA.